One of the more interesting ways an alien civilization might communicate with us is by using something called a bracewell probe. There's a huge advantage to using one. It circumvents, to some degree, the communications times needed to talk to an alien race. In fact, it cuts them in half. Proposed by Robert Bracewell in 1960, Bracewell probes would be robotic, autonomous, and very probably artificially intelligent. The civilization might send out millions of them into their home galaxy, possibly even making them self-replicating, and explore the universe from the comfort of home. Once the Bracewell probe reached its destination, it would simply sit near a habitable planet until a civilization developed on it. Once the civilization met whatever criteria the aliens had imposed, it would wake up and announce its presence and do an on-site cultural exchange with that species, or eradicate them. Then, when finished talking or eradicating, it could then relay what it learned back to its home world by radio, and centuries or millennia later, they would receive the information. The advantage to this approach is that a bracewell probe can communicate much faster with the target species due to being on site, the disadvantage being that it can't communicate anything that's not already in its memory banks, nor can the mission be quickly aborted if something goes wrong. In fact, the bracewell probe may well outlive the civilization that sent it. Due to its nature, it's highly unlikely that we are being watched by a bracewell probe. But there are groups of researchers that have looked to see, but to no avail so far, and it's not clear that we could even detect one without it announcing itself. But there is one odd case involving radio signals that might, though again this is highly unlikely, be evidence that there is a Bracewell probe in our solar system. So much so, Professor Bracewell's original paper suggests that it might be evidence. In radio, it's called a Long Delayed Echo, or LDE. These occur when a broadcaster sends out a signal and then receives it back after a long period of time has elapsed, often tens of seconds. A number of scientific explanations for them have been offered, but none have been completely satisfying. Plausible, but unsatisfying, leaving the door open for alternative explanations. Enter the Bracewell probe. It has been suggested that one way such a thing might initially communicate is by mimicking the signals it receives, much like the aliens in contact sending back the footage of Hitler opening the 1936 Olympics. I find this explanation particularly unsatisfying. There are far better ways of doing it, even if you're just altering the signal in just such a way as to make it recognizable that it's somehow different from what was originally sent. But I put it out there as it's still technically on the table, though it's highly unlikely due to the irregular nature of the return times of the LDEs. My money is on a solidly natural explanation for this one. As an aside, there was a scare of sorts over near-Earth asteroid 1991 VG. It has some unusual characteristics. It has an orbit oddly similar to Earth, which means it should have long ago been swallowed up by our planet or flung off into deep space. And it has very strange characteristics in how it changes in brightness as it rotates to the point that it was suggested that it was really a spent rocket stage that someone had forgotten about. But another theory was that it was a bracewell probe, as that might be the type of orbit one might keep. But, in the intervening years, the odd characteristics have been accounted for by its discoverers. It's just a rock, and I'm glad it was, as I'm not sure I like the idea of sleeping alien probes nearby Earth. Thanks for listening. I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, currently putting the finishing touches on a new book. Stay tuned and like, subscribe, and comment. Be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailer and subscribe to my channel for in-depth, regular explorations into the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing universe in which we live.